Imagine an airplane, a marvel of modern engineering, becoming a subject of global controversy. Welcome to the intriguing tale of the Boeing 737 MAX. Born from the pursuit of efficiency and innovation, the 737 MAX was Boeing's answer to the future of aviation. With its sleek design and advanced technology, it was set to become the crown jewel of commercial aviation. But as the saying goes, the path to greatness is often strewn with obstacles. The 737 MAX was no exception, finding itself at the heart of one of the most significant crises in aviation history. Strap in as we take a deep dive into the history, development, and the tumultuous journey of this aircraft. To understand the MAX, we need to go back to its roots. Born from the desire to outpace competition, the Boeing 737 series initially took flight in the late 60s. As an answer to the growing demand for air travel, Boeing sought to create a jetliner that was both efficient and versatile. Over the years, this series saw multiple transformations, each variant evolving to adapt to the changing needs of the aviation world. Fast forward to the 21st century, the 737 MAX was conceived. It was the fourth generation of the 737 series, introduced with a promise of superior fuel efficiency and greater range. The MAX was a leap forward in technology, incorporating advanced aerodynamics and new, more powerful engines. It was designed to redefine air travel, offering airlines a more economical alternative to long-range, wide-bodied aircraft. This advanced model was met with great enthusiasm, receiving thousands of orders even before its first test flight. It seemed the 737 MAX was destined for success, poised to carry Boeing into a new era of aviation. The 737 MAX was designed to be the future, but it soon found itself at the center of a storm. The MAX wasn't just an upgrade, it was a technological leap. A leap that saw Boeing integrate cutting-edge advancements to enhance the aircraft's performance, fuel efficiency, and passenger comfort. Central to this was the introduction of new, more powerful engines. These engines were not only larger, but also positioned further forward and higher on the wing, fundamentally altering the plane's aerodynamics. The changes, however, led to a new challenge. The aircraft had a tendency to nose up during certain flight conditions. To counteract this, Boeing developed the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCS. This system was designed to automatically trim the aircraft nose down, making it feel more like its predecessors and ensuring consistent handling across the 737 range. MCS was a novel solution, but its role was more significant than just addressing the plane's altered flight characteristics. It was a safety measure, a guard against potential aerodynamic stalls. By automatically adjusting the plane's flight controls, MCS was meant to keep the plane safely in the skies. But as we'll see, the very system designed to enhance safety would become a focal point of concern. As the old saying goes, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. In this case, it was a road paved with advanced technology and innovation that led to unexpected consequences. The MCAS, designed for safety, would ironically play a crucial role in a series of unfortunate events. With two fatal crashes in a matter of months, the MAX's reputation took a nosedive. October 2018 and March 2019 marked the darkest days in Boeing's history. Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, both flown on the 737 MAX, tragically crashed claiming the lives of 346 souls on board. These twin disasters shook the world and raised serious safety concerns about the MAX. Initial investigations pointed to a common culprit, the MCS. This system, designed to make the MAX handle like its predecessors, was implicated in both crashes. It was found that under certain conditions, the MCS could push the plane's nose down too forcefully, leading to an unrecoverable dive. In response to these findings, aviation authorities worldwide took an unprecedented step. The entire Boeing 737 MAX fleet, over 370 aircraft, was grounded. The skies were eerily silent of the hum of MAX engines. This was a fall from grace like no other for Boeing, which had previously enjoyed a stellar safety record. This grounding was not just a temporary timeout, 
it was a wake-up call for Boeing. The company was forced to confront the reality that their state-of-the-art jet had fundamental flaws. The MAX was grounded, and Boeing was left to grapple with the aftermath. Boeing had a gargantuan task at hand, to fix the MAX and regain trust. The company was faced with a challenge of Herculean proportions. The road to redemption began with an extensive modification of the 737 MAX. The key to these modifications was the MCS, the system that was at the heart of the safety concerns. Boeing engineers worked tirelessly, refining and adjusting the software, making it safer and more intuitive. The MCS was now designed to rely on multiple sensors and would only activate once, reducing the chances of unexpected behaviors. But the changes weren't just limited to the MCS. Boeing also redesigned the pilot training program for the 737 MAX, incorporating more simulator time and a comprehensive review of the aircraft's systems. Then came the recertification process. Boeing had to prove to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and the world that the 737 MAX was safe to fly. After rigorous testing and scrutiny, the FAA gave the green light, recertifying the MAX in November of 2020. Boeing had seemingly achieved the impossible. They had taken a plane that had been grounded worldwide and turned it into a plane that was ready to fly again. The MAX was ready to return, but would the world be ready for the MAX? Slowly but surely, the MAX began to retake its place in the skies. Following its grounding, airlines around the globe began the meticulous process of reintroducing the aircraft into their fleets. This was no small feat. It involved rigorous checks, extensive technical updates, and comprehensive pilot retraining. The pilots, the very lifeblood of these aircraft, found themselves at the heart of a new training regime. This regime emphasized hands-on experience with the updated MCS system, ensuring they could respond swiftly and accurately to any potential issues. Regulatory bodies were not left unscathed by the MAX's saga. The fallout from the grounding led to a re-evaluation of their oversight role. They implemented stricter regulations and oversight protocols, aiming to avoid a repeat of the MAX debacle. As a result, the aviation industry saw a shift in its safety culture with a renewed focus on transparency and accountability. The MAX was back, but its journey was far from over. Today, the MAX is flying again, but the echoes of its past linger. With steady determination, Boeing has managed to reclaim the skies, but not without significant changes. The MAX program has undergone rigorous scrutiny, comprehensive adjustments, and a stringent recertification process. Today, the aircraft is deemed safer, equipped with enhanced systems and bolstered by more thorough pilot training requirements. Yet, the journey doesn't end here. The Boeing 737 MAX continues to evolve. As we speak, Boeing is working on a new variant, the MAX 10, designed to accommodate more passengers while maintaining the efficiency and safety of its predecessors. It's a bold step forward, signifying Boeing's unwavering commitment to the MAX series. In a world where technological advancement is the name of the game, the MAX's story is far from over. Its journey is a compelling narrative of resilience, reinvention, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. The MAX's story is a testament to the challenges and triumphs of aviation technology. So, that's the tale of the Boeing 737 MAX, a tale of ambition, tragedy, and resilience. We've traveled through its inception marveled at its technological prowess, and felt the impact of its tragic downfall. We've witnessed the extensive changes that led to its recertification and watched as it bravely returned to the skies. Its story continues to unfold, holding lessons for the future of aviation. What are your thoughts on the MAX's journey? Share your views, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the world of aviation.